We're in Quebec for the launch of the new Toyota Corolla Cross. Small SUVs, the fastest growing segment of the auto industry. Let's go for a ride. Oh, what a powerhouse, there Andrea. Goes. There she goes. What's under the hood of the Corolla Cross? A two liter, four cylinder engine matched with a CVT, 169 horsepower and 151 pound feet of torque all-wheel drive and front-wheel drive options. All-wheel drive gets independent rear suspension, front-wheel drive torsion beam rear suspension. Now we're gonna be comparing the base two-liter four-cylinder competitors. Yeah. There are some other vehicles in this class like the Taos and the Seltos that have available turbocharged engines. Yeah. And the Crosstrek has a larger two and a half liter engine. And the Kona, turbocharged. Yeah. So we're just kind of looking at the two liters. That's the direct competitor yeah. to this. All right, while we're on it, Andrea, what do you get with the Corolla Cross? What are the key standard features? The base trim gets its seven inch touchscreen, a 4.2 inch multi information display, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, six speaker audio system, heated front seats, manual driver and passenger seats, cloth upholstery, LED headlights and taillights, 17-inch steel wheels, a temporary spare tire, and Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. All right, Andrea, we're in Quebec. What are we going to put it in? You got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when all our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this, the couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on a Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and also follow along on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto. And the links are below. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of two-year door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more. This Corolla Cross is based on the TNGAC platform, which is the same platform for the Corolla hatchback and sedan. So this really is based on a Corolla. So calling it a Corolla Cross, there is legitimacy there. It sits in size between the sedan and the hatchback, but yeah. it has a lot of similar components. And of course they add available all wheel drive, which begs the question, Andrea, could they put all wheel drive in a Corolla? That is a good question. And we asked Toyota as well. The and they went like this. Yes, they went like this. Sorry, we got nothing for you. But maybe one day. They, they've got a lot up their sleeve at head office, I'm telling you. And they have confirmed a hybrid is coming next year. Whether it's just a front-wheel drive like the Corolla sedan yeah. or all-wheel drive, I think it's going to be all-wheel drive, but that is coming next year. Now, you may wonder in the SUV lineup, where does this Corolla Cross fit? It sits right between the CHR and the RAV4. The Corolla Cross is the first vehicle that's built in the Huntsville, Alabama plant that's shared with Mazda. Although, oh, Andrea, Andrea, it's Huntsville, Alabama. It's Mazda. Mazda, that's <laughs> right, Mazda. There's no platform sharing between the two brands. It's just cost sharing, and they manufacture vehicles at the same plant. Ooh. Well, we're kind of just on a secondary highway here. Yeah. And when you're at highway speed, this gets a little bit noisy. But when you drive it at lower city speeds, I think I really like it there. Me too. It is very quiet in the city. But when you ask it to do a little more and accelerate hard like this, you definitely hear the engine. Yeah, but it is a two liter four cylinder True. engine. But I'm finding a little bit more road noise getting into yeah. the cabin. Anyway, I think this is really going to be used by people in the city. And that's where it feels really comfortable. And that's the size that everybody wants. And it has the most horsepower of the two liter four cylinder competitors as well at 169. So it's not lacking power in this segment. On looks, Andrea, I think this might be one of the better looking Toyotas. Yeah, it looks really good. I like the LED headlights and tail lights. I think that the grille is a good size. I love this color, Cypress. It's a beautiful green. And the back tail lights to me look kind of Jeep Cherokee inspired. It's a nice looking unit. I think it's going to appeal and fit into the landscape and there's going to be a lot of people will like this because it's a Toyota yeah. and it's an SUV and it's a Corolla. And how many people have owned Toyota Corollas? Well, it's the best selling vehicle on the planet of all time. Put yeah. it that way. And I don't expect anything less from this Corolla Cross. It comes with 17 to 18 inch wheels. 18 inch wheels are available on the top trim. 
All right, the inside is a very pleasant surprise. Yeah. We're going to get into the back seat a little bit because that's a bit controversial, but the rest of the cabin, nice job, Toyota. Really nice job. This comes with a 7-inch touchscreen, but just moving up one trim to the LE trim, you get an 8-inch touchscreen. It's not integrated into the dash. We don't typically see that with Toyota products, of course. I like the soft materials in here. Of course, there's hard plastic and piano black but it's very well done. So the whole front of the dash has this sort of soft applique on it, yeah. and it looks really good with this two-tone interior, soft materials on the doors. The interior to me looks like a combination of the CHR interior yeah. and the Corolla interior. Yes, and I, I do see some RAV4 in here as well. The base model comes with plenty of standard features, but if you just move up one trim to the LE model, that's where you get that larger 8-inch touchscreen and 17-inch alloy wheels as well. And the big one is blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert. Now, the top trim is something that's really quite interesting. You can actually get forward parking sensors, which you don't typically yeah. see in this class. And another thing that I really, really, really like about this, a power lift gate is available. Yeah. And if you've had an SUV with a power lift gate, you're always going to want one. Very few vehicles in this class have a yeah. power lift gate. There's the Mazda CX-30 and the Chevy Trailblazer and now this. On this top trim, you get the JBL audio system, you get a moonroof, the wireless charger, and one up on the LE trim, you get heated steering wheel. It's not fully heated, half baked, but at least you know where to put your hands, right? One thing I like about the packaging is on the LE trim, if you don't want to go up to this top XLE, then you can get a package for the moonroof as well as a wireless charger for $2,100 Canadian. Now, if you're hearing a little bit of noise in the cabin, you are experiencing classic Quebec roads. Yeah, they are very good. <laughs> They're very bumpy, yeah. and that does translate into the cabin quite a bit. Yeah. Now, the back seat is a bit controversial because you would think with a brand new vehicle that you might try to make it the best of something when it comes to space or yeah. size. They didn't do that at Toyota. The back seat is uh, adequate, I would call it. It's not particularly roomy, no. but a lot of people are going to fit back there. It reminds me a lot of the Lexus UX back seat. It does not offer best in class second row legroom back there. All other competitors, including the Crosstrek, the Seltos, the Qashqai, all have more space in that back seat. Now, we didn't have carry-on and a cooler on no. this trip, but we do have two carry-ons and a camera bag. And, you know, it's gobbling up all of our equipment for the day. Yeah. I would say, same thing, the cargo area is adequate. The Kia Seltos is the only competition that has more overall cargo capacity than this Corolla Cross. So I would say it's pretty good. All right, let's get into your questions. Time now for questions, coffee, and cars. Your questions from Instagram. What makes the Corolla Cross different than the Corolla Hatchback, which would appeal to buyers in Canada? Can't wait to watch the review. Well, obviously, it's a crossover. It sits a little bit higher. You have a higher roof line. And, of course, the number one thing is available all-wheel drive. Yeah. And it sits in between the hatchback and the sedan in size. The sedan's the biggest, then this, and then the hatchback. It also has a lower starting price than this Corolla Cross. And it comes with a standard 8-inch touchscreen. This Corolla Cross comes with a 7-inch. So I think that's pretty impressive. And I've got some numbers here as well. The Corolla Cross is about 4 inches longer and 1 inch wider. And it offers 2 inches more second row legroom than the hatchback. So there you have it. I also think that this category, as we all know, is so popular. And that Toyota, I think it's a brilliant idea that they came out with a utility vehicle in this segment. Well, the CHR wasn't cutting it without all-wheel drive. They had to come with all-wheel drive, and this is it. So good for them. Yeah, and when it comes to the CHR, just to add, this has no. more second-row legroom oh, yeah, yeah. than the CHR. Any information on if there is a wait list in Canada for this vehicle given the chip shortage? Well, we, well, we had dinner. We grilled Stephen Beatty we over did, and over. We did, the vice president of Toyota Canada, and we specifically asked this. And he said, we're kind of at a low right now with the chip shortage. There just isn't a lot of inventory. But come but this the is new the worst. year, this is, this the, is worst the worst. And it's going to get better from here. Yeah, coming in the new year, they expect there to be a lot more inventory, and they're pretty confident about that and he also said because this is a new vehicle a brand new model with a brand new factory yeah. the supply chain that feeds that factory is already in place to launch this vehicle so there won't be a problem getting them 
This crossover has been on sale in Latin America for a couple months now. I test drove the hybrid, but felt severely underpowered. Does the North American version feel adequate for your driving conditions? It depends on the conditions. I think we are both in agreement that this drives nicely as a urban commuter. Yeah, as a city driver, this actually has a smooth ride to it. You feel like you have enough power, but when you get it on the highway and you accelerate hard, the noise level goes up and the engine is definitely working harder. We don't have a hybrid option. There yes. is going to be a hybrid option. It is coming next year. I'm not sure if we're getting the same hybrid that you have. That certainly hasn't been confirmed yet if it's going to be the one that's maybe in the UX right now mm -hmm. or in the RAV4. All right. So this is a different engine than they have in other parts of the world for yeah. this car. So basically what they've taken is the engine that's available in the Corolla S lines and the hatchback S lines, the more powerful engine, that's what's powering this. The hybrid is still up for debate. As well, this has dynamic torque all-wheel drive, which is exclusive to the North American market. It's really tuned for the needs of North Americans and the driving condition. So this is what's uh, called a slip and grip system. So once the front wheels detect some slip, it sends extra grip to the back wheels. Up to 50% of the torque can go to the rear wheels. Our next question is our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? The Corolla Cross is priced very well for the segment. Do you two think this is the new segment benchmark? Does it perform and drive as well as the VW Taos, the segment's most expensive offering? I think Toyota will own this segment in a relatively short time. I really don't think this is best in class in really anything. It's not best in class in terms of available power. No. There are other vehicles, you mentioned the Taos, but much more available power. There are bigger vehicles, there are quieter vehicles, there are smoother vehicles. That doesn't matter because you know what this has going for it? The bank of Toyota. It's a Toyota. Yeah. You have, we already touched on it, the best selling nameplate ever, Corolla. Yeah. You add in that's now available as an SUV, home run. That's what you got. For sure. It's priced really well. You don't have to get that top XLE trim for just under 34000 You could go for the LE with the package. It is competitively priced. Now, a couple of things we want to touch on that we do like. We do like this two-tone interior with the yeah. soft text. It's not real leather. It's the Toyota faux leather, yeah. which is very good. And it'll wipe down even though they're light-colored seats. But over there on the passenger seat, we're seeing a trend here, Toyota, and we don't like it. There is no height adjustment. We saw that in the RAV4 Prime. Even that top trim didn't have it. It's the same for the Corolla Cross. This soft text interior is only available on the top trim. All other trims come with fabric with a gray gray or black interior. All right, we did touch on it. We are comparing this to other two liter four cylinder crossovers. So let's get into it. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. Up first is the Kia Seltos. It's matched with a CVT. It has 146 horsepower and a starting price of $25,395 for all wheel drive. The base Subaru Crosstrek also with a CVT has a two liter and 152 horsepower and a starting price of just under $26,000. The Hyundai Kona with 147 horsepower and a new CVT out is the six speed automatic transmission. It has a starting price of just under $24,000 for all-wheel drive. And here's our used car alternative from CanadaDrives.ca. We've chosen a 2014 Subaru Crosstrek with just under 80,000 kilometers for $16,490. Click on the tab or in the link in the description below to find more vehicles in this category from CanadaDrives.ca. So there are four subcompact SUVs for you to consider. All right, it's time now to get into the important stuff like how much this thing costs with the vital stats. Let's start with pricing. The base front wheel drive model starts at under $25,000. The base all wheel drive is just over $26,000. And the top XLE all wheel drive that we're testing is just under $34,000. There are no JD Power ratings for the Corolla Cross, but the 2020 Corolla gets an overall score and a quality and reliability score of 80 out of 100. Car Edge states the Corolla will retain 62% of its value after five years. Here's the fuel economy for front wheel drive, 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, seven on the highway, that's 31 miles per gallon city, 
33 miles per gallon highway. All-wheel drive gets 8.1 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 7.4 on the highway. That's 29 miles per gallon city, 32 miles per gallon highway. The Corolla Cross can tow 1,500 pounds, and Toyota has a warranty of three years or 60,000 kilometers, 36,000 miles. Lightning round, two things we like, two things we like to see improve. Well, I love how this drives and handles in the city. And I'm pleasantly surprised by the level of finish on the inside. What we don't like, well, I'd love a height adjustment on the passenger side. And they didn't make the back seat the biggest in this category. This Corolla Cross is practical, versatile, and budget friendly. You take a Corolla, you turn it into an SUV, instant winner. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of to your door delivery and the confidence of a seven day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more.